Hi, I'm Eloise Hare and I'm an actor and model. I originally grew up in Norfolk and I moved to London when I was 18 to study musical theatre at Trinity Laban in Greenwich. I had a great time there and since I graduated in 2015, I've done loads of different theatre projects. I have done pantomime, theatre in education, outdoor theatre, Shakespeare, comedies, um, I've sung in care homes, I have performed in loads of lovely little theatres all around the country and I love it. Um, I discovered modelling, well I didn't discover it but I found that I wanted to do some more modelling when uh, it was coming out of the end of lockdown. So. All the theatres were closed, I didn't have much acting work going on, so I wanted to find another creative outlet that I could do for work. So I got into some modelling, I did a lot of bridal work, was published in some magazines, uh, I started doing a bit more commercial work and modelling for hobbyist photographers and camera clubs and workshops, um, and it was a lot of fun. So I've kept it up and it's really helped me to support my acting career. This year, um, I have started my own outdoor theatre company. I've done five years of open air theatre tours with other companies and I've absolutely loved it. You get to go to amazing venues all across the country. You get to perform in front of castles, in lovely gardens, National Trust properties, amphitheatres. It's just amazing and it always feels so magical. Some of my favourite shows that I've done have been A Midsummer Night's Dream, Twelfth Night, uh, a murder mystery, which was a lot of fun, and we wrote the whole thing. Um, and it was very silly, and also The Great Gatsby. That's why I've got short hair actually, because I cut my hair to be Daisy in The Great Gatsby. Um, so this year, I have started my own company um, with a very good friend of mine, and we are doing an adaptation of The Secret Garden, which we are touring to venues all across the south of England. We have written the adaptation for the show, we have written the music, we play all the music in the show, there are three of us and we play all the different characters and we've built the set and painted the set and booked the whole tour. Um, so it very much is a big passion of ours this summer and we have opened the show recently to excellent reviews. So we're really, really happy about that. We've adapted the story from the original book by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Um, it's the classic children's story that you may know either from the book or the film adaptations. Um, basically, there's a little girl called Mary Lennox whose parents die. She was living in India with them. And when her parents die, she is sent to live with her uncles, Mr. Archibald Craven, who lives on the edge of the Yorkshire Moors in a big house with loads of rooms that have been locked up. And when she gets there, she's very sour and contrary, and everyone describes her as a very disagreeable little child. Um, and she goes and starts exploring the gardens and she finds this one that's been locked up and no one's been in it for 10 years because Mr. Craven buried the key because it reminds him of his wife who died 10 years ago. So she is determined to find this garden and she eventually does. And she wants to bring it back to life because there are rose trees in there that have been dying. And she then finds out that there is another boy living in the house, um, Mr. Craven's son, who is really scared that he's going to be a hunchback and he's never really tried walking because he thinks he's ill and he thinks he's going to die and everyone thinks he's going to die and he's very, very hysterical. And Mary thinks, I can see him getting better in this garden. So she brings him out along with another boy, Dickon, who lives on the moor and can speak to animals and they both think that he's magic and they think that the garden is magic too and that the nature and everything coming to life around them is going to help them come back to life. So our adaptation is all about trying to bring out that enchanting, magical feel that the kids feel when they go into the garden.